Here's a look at the inside of my Model 2 PlayStation 3 laptop. First I'll show you the outer cover. Uh, it has the speakers and the control panel and the vent for the fan. Uh, it actually has locking tabs where it just slides in and then it attaches with two screws. So then that lets you get access to the hard drive real easy and the whole front of the system. Uh, with this one I put the monitor's power supply in the bottom portion. It's actually cooled from the air from the PlayStation 3 fan and it has these two fans back here to exhaust the hot air. Uh, there's actually a custom uh, it's hard to see it's clear but it goes around here so it draws air through the power supply to cool that. There's also a nice clear uh, plastic mounting bracket for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas. Uh, here's my custom amplifier circuit and uh, next to that is the circuit board for the fan speed control which it's actually got some temperature sensors that go inside the fans are out here and then they adjust the speed of these fans to accordingly. Uh, everything's well insulated. Uh, there's thick plastic underneath the power supplies. Um, you know, it's properly grounded. Uh, everything's got connectors on it so it can be disconnected if it needs to be serviced for some reason. The, uh, this actual side case piece uh, can also be removed with uh, two s screws and a nut. And then the headphone jack um, and controls, they all unplug and everything can be removed if you really want to. Uh, here's the back of the monitor. It's a lot thinner than my last one because the power supply isn't in it anymore. It's got the uh, LCD driver board there. Uh, there's the power supply for the LEDs to light it up. It's the nice thing about LED monitors is that it doesn't require much circuitry or high voltage to uh, keep it lighted. It actually has a full three foot plug-in uh, DVI to HDMI plug so there's no splicing so if something ever went wrong with that you could replace that easily. Uh, most of the PlayStation's output ports were unmodified they're kinda hard to see from here but if you had to remove that you could unplug everything uh, even the optical output jack has a connector on it so you can move anything if it ever needs to be serviced. It's got uh, four blue LEDs. I actually made some light pipes for them to diffuse the light so they're not shining bright in one spot. And there's another one there for the disk drive tray. There's actually an LED for the headphone jack and it also kind of reflects off that aluminum and lights up the inside. There's another LED. Uh, they all plug into the power sub or the amplifier board, so they can be removed. The regulator is uh, right there. It's the Texas Instruments PTH series. They work really well. And as you can see, the PlayStation part is pretty much just unmodified. It's just bolted to the aluminum and just as reliable as a stock one. So there you have it.